and to the people of Baltimore who want to say, we're with you. We're going to stay with you as long as it takes. And like the governor said, you're Maryland tough, you're Baltimore strong, and we're going to get through this together. And I promise we're not leaving. President Biden has vowed today to help rebuild the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Meanwhile, a major rescue mission is still underway. And that is our top story here at four. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Gordon. And I'm Deidre Johnson. The president went on to say the federal government will pay for the reconstruction. And here's what happened. Shortly after 1030 last night, a massive cargo ship collided with one of the bridge's support columns. Within seconds, both spans of the bridge collapsed into the Patapsco River, sending vehicles and construction crews into the water. Search and rescue teams say as many as six victims, but possibly more than double that number, are still missing. One resident still couldn't believe the bridge actually collapsed. And, um, the building has shook so severely, and it woke me up. I was scared, and I didn't know what was going on. I ran out to, to look to see what had happened because we had planes that fly across. I heard all the police and fire trucks and, you know, people just racing down here on Brawling Highway, coming this way, but never to think that that would happen, that the bridge had collapsed. Now, there are a lot of questions about how this will affect traffic and operations in a very busy port and a major part of the Baltimore Beltway, Highway 695. Well, of course, we have plenty of bridges and ship traffic on Oregon and Washington waterways. So the collision and collapse of Maryland has people wondering if something like this could happen here. Uh, we spoke with transportation experts today about how our waterways may compare. We do have bridges on the Columbia River that have similar truss structure designs. Those include the Astoria Megler Bridge in Astoria and the Interstate 5 Bridge that connects Portland and Vancouver. But there are other types of bridges in our area as well with various types of cargo ships that pass under them. And now transportation agencies like ODOT will be watching the investigation in Maryland. And we're going to be watching this very carefully in the days and the weeks ahead to see what we can learn. Are there any issues that we can find out about this to see if we can improve our safety here in Oregon? We want to know more about what happened. Now, there have been other big bridge disasters this century and last, including in 1980, when a 600-foot cargo ship hit a support structure of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge in Tampa Bay, Florida. The collision caused a 1,400-foot section of the roadway to drop, killing 35 people. And we'll continue to follow all the latest details from this disaster in Baltimore, and NBC's coverage is coming up in our next half hour.